don't know what a chip is. What's a chip, bro? Chippewa, Chippewa. I'm playing. I know what it is. I know what it is. Hey, you guys, do me a favor. You know how hard it is to come up here and in front of all y'all, you know, be articulate and smooth? It's kind of hard, right? So please give it up for my boy David right here, man. David Juarez and my boy Reno. I'm going to talk about them in a minute. So my name is Ernie G. I'm a Latino community from Los Angeles. I'm on a bunch of TV shows nobody watches. Uh, I'm so famous, I have to tell you how famous I am. Uh, <laughs> you're like, that's sad, that's sad. Uh, and I'm here today celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. That's what we're doing here, Hispanic Heritage Month, right? Now typically when you hear the word Hispanic Heritage Month, there's just kind of like, see, you're going to hear me say the word Latino, you're going to hear me say the word Hispanic pretty often here in the next hour or so. And when you hear the word Latino and you hear the word Hispanic and you don't happen to be Latino or Hispanic, there's like this underlying assumption that maybe I'm not really speaking to you. I want you to know, if you can hear my voice, I'm speaking to each and every one of you, okay? So you don't got to be black to love Dave Chappelle, right? You don't gotta be back to love you some Kevin Hart. All right, all right, all right, right? You don't have to be Korean to love Margaret Cho. You don't have to be Latino to love Ernie G. You need two things to love you some Ernie G. A, you gotta love to laugh. If you love to laugh, you gotta love you some Ernie G. And B, you gotta wanna be inspired. So if you love to laugh and you wanna be inspired, can you make some noise? Is that everyone? Is that everyone? Hey, I'm Aaron here with Central Michigan Life, sitting in with Ernie G. He just got done performing, killed it. So Ernie G, in your performance, you mix a lot of racial stuff. Also, like uh, you combined it with a way to like motivate people. So can you tell me a little bit about how your comedy turned out to come to such a fashion? Did like your background have anything to do with that? Or? Of course, brother. So I do empowerment comedy, which is something that a uh, phrase that I coined several years ago because. I think every great joke has a, a message behind it, but people don't like talking about the message because then it gets too political or it becomes more of a speech than it is comedy. But I know that the messages behind the jokes are what really make people think, and I wanted to be able to do it in a way that makes people laugh and makes people think and doesn't put people off because I know a lot of colleges are very... When most people in the world hear the word Hispanic or black or white or Asian, but especially communities of color like black, Latino, or Hispanic, certain images pop up into their head as to who they think we are. And I know in your hearts, you tell yourselves, that's not who we are, that's who you think we are. Who we really are are beautiful, powerful, educated people who contribute to this country. That's who we really are, right? That's who we really are. So the day you graduate from college, you will instantly, non-verbally, communicate to everyone you know, I'm a beautiful, powerful, educated person. But here's the message. No matter how much education you have, no matter how much money you ever make, no matter how much affluence you attain, if you grew up in El Barrio, if you grew up in the neighborhood, you will always have a little ghetto inside of you, right? <laughs> See? I felt you. Some of you went like this. That's right, what's up? <laughs> but some of you went like this. My old stupid dumb, we're not ghetto. I don't mean chunti ghetto like our cousins, okay? <laughs> okay, I have to explain chunti here in Michigan. Chunti's weird, man. In Texas, they got it. In Virginia, they got it. And in Maryland, they didn't get it. So chunti ghetto is like ghetto to the max, okay? There's ghetto, and then there's chunti ghetto. You know what I'm saying? You know when you know you're ghetto, and then you're like, hey, that's chunti ghetto right there, you know? <laughs> 